West is playing a game of chess, but they are failing to realize that Russia is executing a masterful checkmate in the Balkans. Hi and welcome to a fresh new episode of The New World Order with me, Atul Mishra. Let's begin. US and European countries have poured billions of dollars in aid and weapons to the world. It has a bait to instigate Russia. After Sweden and Finland ditched NATO, it is that in the army general. However, the puppet king consumed by power and fear. The Balkans with their perceived discriminatory attitudes have never fully embraced the West, even with some countries joining NATO and receiving protection from the United States. The European Union has long sought to become an important economic and political partner for the Balkan countries. However, the relationship has hit a rocky patch in recent years. EU's lack of progress in integrating the region into Schengen and its perceived inaction during the migration crisis has fueled growing discontent among the Balkan nations. Trust in the bloc has waned and sympathy for Russia has begun to grow. Russia being the crafty player that it is, has identified the Balkans as the perfect arena to put the EU in a state of limbo. Step one of their strategy was linking energy pipelines to Serb regions in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Now step two is in motion. President Alexander Vucic of Serbia has struck the Serb unity cord once again. He has moved the army closer to the border, putting them on highest alert level. The situation quickly deteriorated with Serbs in Leposavic, Zubin Potok and Zvekan resorting to Molotov cocktails, firecrackers and stones. Italian Defense Ministry has reported the chaos which is anything but calm. The situation in Kosovo where the Serb minority resides is equally volatile. Clashes between NATO peacekeepers, Kosovo's police force and Serbian protesters have left at least 34 injured. Calls for calm have reverberated from Pristina and the international community but Belgrade is urging the international community to pressure Kosovo warning that things could take a different turn if Kosovo continues its oppression. The unrest escalated further when ethnic Albanian mayors elected after Serb officials resigned en masse took office in four municipalities in the Serb majority north of Kosovo. Serbs boycotted the subsequent vote to elect their replacements and protesters resorted to throwing tear gas and attempting to force their way into the municipality. Serbian President Vucic has even gone so far as to warn Kosovo that its leader Albin Kurti is on the path to becoming the Balkan Zelensky if things continue down this road. The situation is heating up and NATO's peacekeeping forces are feeling the pressure. NATO allies are pleading for calm but Serbia seems unwilling to wait any longer. Not to mention this all happened suddenly. The Serbs have long called for justice but Whatever has unfolded in recent times has left everyone flabbergasted. There have long been calls for the reunification of Serbs in a nation called Republika Spiska. The signs are pointing in that direction as the region becomes increasingly turbulent and the affinity of Serbs towards Russia is well known. It's a tough predicament for the EU who wanted to control the region. Unfortunately, it seems like the sands have slipped through the fingers and they are left scrambling to maintain their influence. In this strategic chess game, Russia is making calculated moves while the West struggles to counter them. Will the EU find a way to regain its footing and prevent Russia from checkmating them in the Balkans? Only time will tell. But for now, it appears that Russia's second step is in motion and the balance of power in the Balkans is shifting.